I'm Gina Pizarro, and I'm a senior economics major at James Madison University's College of Business. Economics is a different major than all the others in the College of Business, I guess because at its core it's a social science, so it's a little bit different than more of the um, you know, technical majors like accounting or something like that. Um, you're not necessarily learning a trade, you're more of learning like an analytical way of thinking. Um, in economics we we model people's decision making, we model business decision making, so a lot of time uh, companies are really interested in, in hearing what people who study economics, what they have to think about uh, you know, the way the market's going to go, or, or what, what do you think uh, a company's going to do in the future. After my junior year, I interned with the Federal Reserve Bank of Philadelphia as a research assistant, and uh, a lot of times companies or organizations look for economics majors to be research assistants because of our background with data and econometrics and writing. And uh, at the Federal Reserve, I did a lot of you know, compiling databases and doing some analysis on small manufacturing cities in the Philadelphia district, um, and also did some work on workforce development in that area as well. Uh, so with economics, you don't necessarily have such a set path. Of, you know, with um, something else like accounting, you know, there's a trade at the end, and you know pretty much exactly the job you're going to be in. Uh, so it requires a little bit more of uh, flexibility and the ability to not necessarily know what you're going to do. And, and I, I find it a little bit comforting, but um, other people can't really, they don't like that. So um, there's definitely consulting work. Um, that's what I'm going to be doing next year. I'll be consulting for IBM in D.C. Um, but just about every organization likes to have a, an economist or someone with an economics background on staff because they like the way they think. So the, the job outlook for economics majors is a little bit different than others in that you don't necessarily have a set up job um, or a set career path. You know you can really do whatever you want, which is which is comforting for some and scary for others. Um, but there's a lot of a lot of demand for for people with economics backgrounds in all different industries um, because their ability to be analytical, their ability to look at uh, trends and do some forecasting and stuff like that. Um, consulting industry hires a lot of economics majors. Uh, the government hires a lot of economics majors. Uh, uh, in addition, I think economics is one of the, the most represented majors in law school. And also you can go into graduate school for economics as well. Um, a lot of times people people will come up to you if you're an economics major and say, oh, the math, the math must be impossible. The math must be so hard. And uh, the, math, the math is hard. I'm not going to play that down. But often, what's harder than the math is is grappling with really difficult concepts, and, and um, usually you might not know the answer, you might not understand the technique for days, and you might have to really struggle with it for days, or just go away from it and come back later. And, and you're never going to sit down and, and come up with the answer in a half hour. You might have to really struggle with something for a while. So if, if you think you could do that, you definitely could be um, a successful economics major. It's really, really thinking deeply and thinking about abstract things and being comfortable with, with gray answers. Usually things aren't necessarily black or white. No. Then you would definitely be um, a successful economic major. Also just keeping up with, with current events and looking into how uh, everything affects the economy or how different industries are affected by all different kinds of developments uh, helps you be a student of economics as well.